After days of negotiations, war of words, legal consultations, the political crisis in India's western state of Maharashtra has now reached a tipping point, with Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre stepping down from office after the country's Supreme Court refused to stay the floor test. The political turmoil, which has been plaguing the Indian financial hub in the recent times, culminated with Uddhav Thakre resigning as Chief Minister minutes after the Indian Supreme Court refused an injunction by the Maharashtra government to stay the governor ordered floor test in the assembly scheduled for today. Shiv, uh, Shiv Sena Supremo Dev Thakre has been facing infighting with the rebel camp of MLAs challenging the party chief. Now the crisis erupted on the 20th of June after a group of rebel MLAs led by Eknath Shinde became incommunicado and said that they could not go against the founding principles of the party. Since then, the number of rebel MLAs has swelled. And state opposition leader Devendra Fadnavis urged Maharashtra governor to call for a floor test at the earliest. The state governor then asked Hakre government to prove its majority by the 30th of June, prompting the Sena party chief whip to move India's top court, pointing out that disqualification notices have been issued to 16 of its rebel MLAs. But the Supreme Court stayed action against the rebel leaders till the 11th of July. Maharashtra Minister Eknath Shinde, who is leading the rebel camp, has claimed that 40 out of the 55 Shiv Sena MLAs have sided with him. He also claimed 10 independent legislators are also supporting him. Opposition in the state, the Bharatiya Janata Party has welcomed the resignation by Uddhav Thakre. Following the announcement, the BJP held key legislative meeting in Mumbai and is poised to return to power following Thakre's exit from office. It is the single largest party with 106 legislators in the assembly and is likely to stake claim for government formation today. The BJP is hoping that the Shinde-led Sena camp will lend support to their bid. But this will be subject to action against the 16 rebel Sena MLAs. If the 16 rebel legislators end up being disqualified, then the BJP will have to rely on the independent legislators and smaller state parties to form the government. While the BJP races to establish majority, it is likely to face tough competition from the Aswal ruling coalition and the resignation by Uddhav Thakre may just be the beginning of the game of thrones for the state of Maharashtra. And for more on this, our principal correspondent Disha Shah has sent us this report. Listen in. A big political development taking place in the state of Maharashtra after the chief minister Uddhav Thakre resigning from his post. So what happens next? What can we expect in the next couple of days to happen? As per protocols, now the governor will call the largest party, that's the BJP, to stake claim. And if the party has the majority of the numbers, then they can go ahead and form the new government in the state of Maharashtra. What we understand from our sources is that the BJP party meeting led by Devendra Fadnavis is going to take place today in the city of Mumbai to discuss the future course of action. On the other hand, if we talk about the Shiv Sena rebel MLA, Eknath Shinde, he also is likely to arrive in the city of Mumbai today or tomorrow along with the other rebel MLAs. So whether he decides to join the BJP or have his own party, that is something time will say. With video journalist Mangesh, this is Ishasha for Beyond World is One. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.